Well, I'll take advantage of uh, that real quick since we weren't here for uh, to do a press conference last week and talk about our recruiting class. Uh, certainly uh, excited that this is our third year of uh, a class that we feel that we got on early um, and that certainly is going to create what Coach Bull talks about uh, in creating depth uh, for us. And so, you know, you have the Marino Widow Holly Johnson class and then you follow that up with Bree Watman, Emily, and uh, Hannah Bresky. And now we really feel that, uh, you know, we got a terrific guard uh, and uh, Taylor Thunstedt uh, that I really think you'll enjoy watching uh, her demeanor and certainly you know Brooke Lamar will graduate at that time a year after she gets in here so that will be big and um, then uh, McKenna Hapke also is, is a real long athlete I know you hear that quite a bit but the kids hands literally hang down to her knees and uh, she, if you can find a kid that does an intangible like be able to rebound out of area that, that that's huge for you on both ends of the floor as was an testament to this uh, weekend's game uh, and then certainly Olivia Baker gives us that 6-4 frame that has you know when you're looking at that type of sizes what's their mobility like and certainly she runs the floor well and moves uh, fairly well laterally also so um, very pleased uh, and again identified especially Taylor and McKenna really early in the recruiting process and had the opportunity to get on them early um, got them up here for the great environment that North Dakota State provides uh, in the fall and they felt very comfortable with a lot of things and uh, pleased that we have them on board so um, um, in terms of this weekend, really broke the two games down into segments. Uh, first, we'll start with Maine. I could not be more pleased uh, the way we started that game. Uh, hitting shots, going up 13, defending, uh, doing just what we needed to do in our game plan. Um, I would say the, the middle in between uh, about the eight minute mark of the first half and, and up until the three minutes left in the second half was really some um, emotional maturity uh, that we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have to work through and go through uh, with a young group and, and certainly our players were great because we asked them right when we walked in the locker room after the game, give us your assessment. That's the one thing they talked about is their frustration so that's to be expected when you have competitive kids you know and things don't start going your way and how they re respond to that so um, that's the other uh, segment to that and then the last piece is that our kids were down seven with three minutes left against Maine and gave themselves two shots to be within a possession uh, to either tie that game or to go up. And so as a coach, um, you can't be more excited to know that your kids fought back, down one possession, two opportunities with the ball in Marina's hands, you know, to tie it um, at that point and, you know, the ball just didn't bounce our way. So that uh, that's what we take from Maine. Uh, obviously prepped hard the next day for Harvard, uh, kind of like Kerry talks about getting them to transition from one game plan uh, to the other again uh, liked our uh, fast start against Harvard uh, I think the thing that got us was the physicality of play uh, simply and when that type of uh, physicality uh, takes over then it challenges your conditioning a little bit um, and so you put those two th things together you, you saw kind of a group that was a little bit um, exhausted and then when you get a little tired your execution with fundamental skills go uh, and that showed also but um, they grit they grinded um, unfortunately, you ran up against a very good Harvard team that certainly um, garners the respect of being top 25 in the mid-major. Um, they'll do very well this year. But again, there's learning lessons to be taken, things that are very much in our control, um, things that uh, we're excited as a coaching staff that we've already talked about this morning that are certainly addressable with our kids. And uh, our kids will respond because we have a very good, obviously, you and I to get them back to back at your place. The Missouri Valley team uh, is exciting for us because that game is going to be fast. We're trying to play it a little bit faster speed also. And you know that also has something to do with your conditioning and being able to play that way all the time. And so uh, you and I will be just that for us. And so we'll see if we can and, um, again improve on some of these uh, pieces that we talked about from these two games uh, and again that's what your preseason uh, does for you is it prepares you and so uh, we're gaining experiences and I'm excited for the UNI game uh, that comes on and it's nice to be back on home on Wednesday before we head for Milwaukee on Saturday. Coach how big of a contribution um, has the three freshmen had on your team so far early this year? Uh, certainly, um, uh, you know, Bree Watman's obviously earned herself um, a starting position. Uh, she also has the ability to swing, you know, and be a combo guard for us. Because uh, certainly if we're going to play uh, at a higher tempo, you know, Brooke Lamar's not going to be able to play 40 minutes if, you know, if you're playing hard every possession. And so we're able to swing her to the point guard position. 
Um, so she's giving us solid minutes. Um, I would certainly say she got a little frustrated on the road, um, you know, and, and again, you know, officiating is not going to go your way on the road and whether, you know, whatever. And so you got to learn how to handle that a little bit. Um, again, Emily Spear uh, probably played a little fast. Uh, this weekend, but the kid is physically strong. I thought she handled herself fairly well against Harvard, that physicality. Um, her timing on her, she wants to rebound so hard or aggressively sometimes that um, when you get a bigger 6'4 kid against her frame, sometimes you, the only thing you can do is just leave your body on him um, and let the, your other um, teammates get that rebound. So um, she definitely has a lot of tools to develop. Uh, that we're encouraged by. And then Hannah Bresky, uh, her length causes some people um, some problems. And so uh, she had a couple nice shots down the stretch against Maine uh, that were nice little 15 footers, that mid range game there, uh, that gave us a little bit of a spark. Uh, and so certainly they're going to have to contribute. They're going to have to give us, you know, rebounding, scoring, shooting, some defensive stops. Um, because again, we're trying to play a number of kids in order to play a style that's a little bit faster than what we've done in the past. Okay, thank you.